Hi traders, welcome to this demo. Uh, it's for an existing customer who is having an absolute nightmare uh, trying to get the Stochastic Crossover tool to work with the Java interface. And so what I'm going to do is run, just run through this. Hopefully it may clarify some things for you guys uh, in the future. So when you load up MT4, I'm just going to load it up and I'm just going to get rid of everything. Um, so in fact we have got a nice default set up here. So let's just load a new chart and it's just a nice euro sorry a dollar swiss franc chart and i'm going to go to my indicators folder so if you're not sure how to get there just control and n open up your indicators folder and then scroll down to fxa stochastic crossover jfx drag it onto your chart go to the common tab make sure allow dll imports is selected and you'll get this warning. And this is the problem that uh, this lady was having. Um, she couldn't seem to get rid of this uh, no JFX interface loaded text. And the clues in the writing. So open the MT4 to data folder. So open data folder. Scroll down to the file called FXA JFX interface, which is here. Double click it. And the interface login comes up and enter your unique reference number and ID which is supplied to you when you purchase the product and click customer login now the product comes catalog comes up wherever you last left it go to alert enabled indicators and select stochastic crossover the interface pops up now click anywhere in the main chart window and then just change the time frame and the stochastic crossover tool renders the trace data down here and you can see now see the US dollar Swiss franc is synchronizing in with our selected chart data so when we change the time frame you can see the the actual selected chart change as the time frame is changed in MT4 so if you want to run the system on multiple charts you can't just simply select new chart and kind of start clicking in here it's you need the indicator to be loaded on your chart so you have to reload the indicator so just put the FXA stochastic crossover onto this chart job done and then we can control that by just simply clicking anywhere in the main chart window and it will sync up the chart with the interface so let's run through that again change the time frame and then just click in the window and you'll see on well, the next tick the actual selected chart changes to the one we're working on and then you can start playing around with you know system parameters and I'm just changing some line colors here so I know that we've got good synchronization between MT4 and the Java interface so I did an install for this lady and um, left her with a, a working system but when she actually came back into MT4 she got the same problem so let's simulate that issue so Let's close down the interface, close down MT4, reopen MT4, and hey presto, no JFX interface loaded. Shock horror. So, guess what? Open data folder, load the interface, log in. You don't have to actually go into the, the indicator specifically, just the main product catalog will do if you've pre configured things and then just change the chart time frame and the indicator will render so and remember it'll remember the previous settings we used before uh, there is an easy way of doing this so if you close MT4 and log back into the interface before you reopen MT4 you won't have to toggle your chart time frames it'll just render the stochastic crossover straight away so you'll see here when we reopen MT4 everything renders fine so it's um yeah I'm not quite sure what the issue was I think there may be some confusion with some customers about the indicator kind of the sorry the interface being a, being basically the all singing all dancing control uh, interface you've, you've got to load M the MT4 indicator onto the chart onto each chart you want to use it with because ultimately the interface is just a control tool it's just a, it's just a better way of controlling all these parameters using a nice Java interface rather than having to right click on each um, chart and then going into your indicator list and then 
you're having to like edit this and go into kind of like you know your external input parameters which uh, is quite laborious the idea behind the Java interface is we can very quickly just toggle between charts and if I want to make that main line control there really big on that US dollar CAD chart I can when a tick comes in you'll see that change has been reflected and I can obviously change colors and so on very quickly so I've just gone back to green on the USD Swiss franc chart I might want to make the line width narrow again and so you can see how quickly I can do this and the other thing about the Java interface is it's specific for each time frame so if I go to the M5 time frame I've got a default set of parameters here Whereas if I go back to M15, it remembers that the previous profile that I used on M15. I could go to M30 and I could have a completely different setup on M30 with a big thick main line, which you'll see here as soon as we get a tick coming in, that's been rendered. So going to M15, M5, you can see the differences between each time frame. And you can see the interface basically updating each time I actually move between the time frames. So this is a completely unique feature of this approach we can have basically unique profiles or or setups for the stochastic indicator on each MT4 time frame which is completely impossible with a standard MT4 indicator uh, a standard MT4 indicator would only allow you one set of parameters on an entire chart uh, with uh, covering all time frames whereas our approach with the Java tool allows us to basically differentiate setups for each individual time frame which is unique. Um, so hopefully that will clarify the issue with the red warning text saying the interface isn't loaded and um, hopefully that will be um, problem solved. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.